My shirt was literally on backwards. I'm an idiot. guys what's up welcome back to another vlog or welcome if you're new today is Tuesday and I'm about to start Jess Hutchins program today her program is 12 weeks long I have to do four full body workouts a week and then I also have to track all of my food in my fitness pal where she has access to everything and we already set up my goals for calories carbs proteins and fats and talked about all of that and I have my workout like all ready to go in her app and I'm gonna go in there we're gonna do this workout it's literally almost 11 it took me forever to get out of the house this morning because it's muggy and rainy and I just really did not want to go but I told myself I have to because I'm doing this program now I'm putting my money into this like I literally have to do it My heart rate literally got to 172 at one point and I thought I was gonna die, but I didn't and I powered through it. The last two rounds were extremely difficult. I'm trying to remember if I recorded that part. I didn't record a couple of things, but it was a lot of workouts. That was definitely more intense than my normal workout if I'm not following anyone's guide. Anyways, I'm going to GNC now because I wanna get some BCAAs. One of the hardest parts for me when it comes to working out hard and staying consistent with it is muscle recovery. I always get extremely sore and then it prevents me from continuing my workouts. At least that's been like the trend in the past but since I'm doing Just Hutchins program I don't have a choice like I have to log my workouts four days a week I have to weigh in I have to do measurements so because of that I thought doing some BCAAs would be really beneficial for me to help with the muscle recovery process so we're gonna go get some BCAAs I'm hoping they have the ones I want okay got the goods and some extra so excited to show you guys what I found so I got the Alani new BCAAs and sour gummy these are so popular I'm sure you've heard of them I feel like everyone uses these BCAAs and they're supposed to be really good I've heard nothing but good things so I got these and then these were buy one get one the new Alani new fit snacks protein bars so I got two of these one in fruity cereal and the other one is confetti cake 
and like fruity pebbles and cocoa pebbles are like my favorite in the world so fruity cereal sounded amazing and then they had 12 packs of these fit shakes but i decided to just get one so i could try it so this is the fruity cereal fit shake from milani new and it has 20 grams of protein so it's like perfect i just finished working out i already ate breakfast this morning i'm gonna drink this protein shake and we're gonna do a little taste test and see uh how it is this is really good i might just go right back in there and buy the 12 pack because i have a coupon on my receipt i guess i earned enough i don't know how i literally have gone into gnc probably like two times in my whole life but i have a ten dollars off 50 or more but it's only good until the 21st so if these are really good then get some more because it's easier than making a protein shake oh my god i don't know how i feel about this it's not bad it honestly does taste better than like a regular protein shake because it's not chalky but the fruity cereal it kind of tastes like if you had like a juice like a really sugary juice and you mix it in with milk does that make sense i don't really think it tastes like fruity pebbles hmm I don't know, I wish they had a multi-pack in like the 12 pack where I could buy like multiple flavors. It's not bad though. I mean, I think it tastes good. Okay guys, it's a little bit later. Chad just got home. I'm about to take all of the packages up to the post office. I obviously showered, put some makeup on and my hair is very dirty, but I'm still not washing it. So I just put it in a bun and threw a ton of dry shampoo in it. So you can't really tell. I'm gonna make my BCAA drink and go ahead and have this now. I didn't want to have it right away because I was really full from that protein shake and I still am, but I do want to go ahead and have it. Serving size one scoop. Oh, here's the scoop. I was like, there's no scoop. Okay. And then you just with mix it with eight or 10 ounces of water. So. First impressions, here we go. Oh, that's not bad at all. It really does just taste like sour gummy. And it's kind of refreshing almost. Don't mind the Unico uh, blender. This is the only little one that I have. And it's still pretty cute even though it's not Unico. What is that? You used to drink these. What is it? You know what BCAAs are. Well, UPS came and this is all of the new inventory. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited, but it was honestly kind of sad watching him try to carry all of this up like Chad and I were watching through the window and it was just kind of hilarious in a way because like this is just such a normal thing for me especially because I order so much online but now having the boutique I just like always have inventory coming and also my new rug came in you can't really tell but it is a pink braided rug and I'm gonna get to see what this looks like in a little bit and then there's also another big exciting package that I'm going to hope that I can build tonight and it's a new vanity okay I just had Chad help me carry in this nice piece of furniture this is gonna be my new vanity here's what it looks like i was temporarily using that little thing over there which is awesome and it's a very cute little desk and i will probably still find a home for it somewhere um but it's not like a true vanity it's just a little fold-up table so this actually has drawers which will help me organize some things and i'm really excited about it and i will link it it's from wayfair complete shock right now that this literally was already built i thought i was gonna have to put all of these pieces together and build the drawers and all of that so chad is just gonna die when he comes in here and sees that i already built it Somebody's gonna comment and tell me these aren't authentic because of some ridiculous reason. It's like, you know what? This is made from an authentic Mexican restaurant. 
okay? So as far as I'm concerned, it's authentic. It might not be from Mexico or the way they do it there, but it's the closest thing I have, all right? It's not Taco Bell. Just finished eating dinner. I don't know what my hair is doing right now, um, but I wanna show you guys the office situation. So here's the vanity setup. I really, really like the vanity. I like this little stool thing that I got. It's perfect because it actually has a compartment in here so I can store like my heat tools and stuff. And I love the drawers on this thing. Very nice. I do not like this rug. <laughs> I really thought I was gonna like the pop of color um, because you know I did like that little pop of color and the green over there. Like I felt like these little pops of color everywhere were so cute and I was just like, I'm gonna do a pink rug. Well, that was a bit of an impulse purchase because I really just don't like the way this looks. Um, so I'm probably just gonna have to find a big white one and go back to the white color because I just feel like that looked better. Good morning, guys. It's the next day and I am currently in the car with Trooper. I'm about to take him to go and get his stitches removed and you can hear him going crazy because he just saw Natalia pull up. She's coming with me to take him to the vet this morning and I'm so excited for him to get his stitches out but I'm also nervous because I just hope it goes okay and I hope that like he can go back to normal after that. We're at a red light. Trooper is really uh, getting anxious here. And we went to Starbucks to grab some coffees and the woman was nice enough to give me a pup cup for him afterwards because I can't give him anything right now um, until after he gets his stitches out. But it was so cute and Natalia's here. Hi. <laughs> She's keeping track of Trooper so he doesn't jump on me while I'm driving. He literally loves Natalia. Natalia is his favorite person in the whole world. <laughs> oh. You love Natty. The way he's singing right now. <laughs> Oh, look at guys! Look at the way he's sitting. Like, <laughs> what is he doing? He's getting scratched. Oh. <laughs> so we are just waiting right now. We're at the Blue Pearl. I just called them to let them know that we're here, oh, and uh, they're gonna come out and get him <laughs> in just a second. Giving him his pup <laughs> cup. He got his stitches out. Yay! Her pup cup. Hey guys, it's a little bit later now. I went home for a while and obviously Natalia went home and Trooper's doing very good. I just worked in my office for a while. I'm just like working on organizing things and it felt really good. Like I went through all my drawers, organized all of that, organized my inventory. Anyways, we're in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru getting lunch and I have to track all my food uh, for Jess Hutchins' program and so I couldn't get fries or fried chicken or anything so I just got the grilled chicken cool wrap and no macaroni and chick-fil-a macaroni is my favorite but I couldn't do it I don't even know why you just took a sip of that so you can tell me how disgusting it is Chad's over here giving me a hard time because I ordered a diet coke and he thinks diet coke is disgusting but I was trying to tell him that sometimes I like the taste of it like I know that's weird because it's not good and I never used to think that but one time I tried it it was actually back when I was teaching remember and I started to like it and sometimes I like the taste of Diet Coke so I like to get it sometimes. Anyway, <laughs> for my lunch I'm having the chicken cool wrap, so good, with ranch and uh, I didn't get any fries or any side so I'm just having this. I just finished eating my lunch and by the way my shirt was literally on backwards and Chad didn't even notice and I still don't know how I did that because it was on right this morning and I was telling him I think like when I was cleaning my office, I oh I did. I tried on a sweater that's coming to sound money. That's what it was. And then I just slipped this back on, didn't even realize it was on backwards because so I was just like in the zone organizing my office. And then uh, I realized when I got home that my shirt was literally like around the other side so the buttons were in the back. Anyway, it was a, uh, I'm an idiot, but I just finished eating my lunch. I love getting that chicken cool wrap because it's filling enough to where I only need to eat half. And I always love to save the second half for the next day. So I'll have that for lunch tomorrow and I'm eating some of my Smart Sweets. I'm obsessed with these. I got like really obsessed with them when they first came out to the point where I got sick of them. Um, I just got them again. They're so good. Okay, it's almost four now and I just got to the gym. I really do not want to come. You guys, this is uh, 
me really trying to just like make the changes now and build these habits back up again um, because it used to not feel like a big inconvenience to just go to the gym but I just like lost my routine but I forced myself to come I have cramps right now so that's like part of the reason why I didn't want to come but it's supposed to be good to work out when you have cramps so I came anyway I literally have three different drinks right here this is my BCA powder for when I get out of the gym I didn't want to drink it first because I just don't want to have like a belly full of liquid while I'm working out and then this is my water for while I'm in the gym and then this is a cup of ice water so that I have cold water for the BCAA so I literally have three different drinks and then I also brought one of my new protein bars to have when I get out so let's go do this day two of Jess Hutchins program I'm going to link um, her website and info in the description box if any of you guys want to check it out because I posted on Instagram and I already got a few questions so yes the program is by Jess Hutchins and I will link her website below I'm trying to see what my workout is today I'm honestly kind of scared I'm literally out of breath right now because because all of her workouts end with hit and so you do like 30 seconds of fast interval and then like I think 15 slow for five minutes <laughs> and I was doing it on the treadmill because the bike was taken and so I'm like running full speed for 30 seconds and then slowing it down to you know like three miles an hour and fast walking for 15 and then speeding up again it's just like interval training for five minutes and it is a challenge and it's like pouring down rain outside right now honestly don't even care it felt so good i'm gonna make my bcaa and i'm gonna try the fit snacks this is the fruity cereal bar so i'm very excited to try it this tastes even better than yesterday because it's actually like colder so mm. So my average heart rate during that entire workout was 136. The high was 177. And I burned 249 calories active, 306 total. Such good stats. I feel like I never get this much on my own, but following her workouts, they're really good. Chad and I somehow both forgot to thaw the chicken out. So he asked me if I would stop at Sprouts and pick up a rotisserie chicken for tonight. Even though we were supposed to do air fryer chicken, I think, but... We don't have any thawed chicken, so I'm just gonna do that, but I'm gonna take a bite out of this just so I can show you guys on camera what I think of the bar. 10 out of 10 on the appearance, super pretty. This is delicious. This is so good. Like, really good. I'm gonna buy more of these. I am back in my car again. Don't know why I'm throwing up the peace sign. I'm sitting at the red light, about to go and get a spray tan and I'm so pumped, you guys. I rejoined my spray tan membership because I just really miss being tan. So I basically went from the gym, home, showered, shaved, exfoliated, and now I'm back in my car heading in the exact same direction to go get a spray tan, which is kind of annoying, but I couldn't go get a tan until I showered, obviously. Chad just got finished reciting like all of this entire episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which is one of our favorite shows. And I'm just dying because I can't believe that he remembers so many of the words. Anyway, this is our dinner tonight. We have broccoli, rotisserie chicken that I picked up tonight at Sprouts, and then a sweet potato, which Chad and I are splitting this. <laughs> 